are you open for a comeback? Because the league is planning to stage the reinforced conference in February next year. Uh, TBD. I have no idea. We will see. Okay. Yeah. What's next for you after this? Um, not, not for sure, but I'll probably continue to play at least um, until the spring, somewhere else. I don't know exactly where, but working on it. I don't know, I always say this should be my last year, but I can't seem to quit. <laughs> uh, volleyball is just part of my DNA now, I guess. How does it feel for you that you know, you've been like always in the playoffs and now uh, you're just like a game away from entering it? Yeah. It's... <laughs> It hurts a lot. Um, I take my job very seriously, and we fell short. And yeah, we just fell short. Um, and I think maybe I took it too seriously, and didn't play as freely. Didn't allow everyone to play as freely as they want to. I, you know, I've this past week has been kind of very, very difficult for me. And I've probably not been that much fun to be around, to be honest. Um, tonight, we plan to just have fun, and I changed my mindset um, the past couple days. But um, yeah, this past week has been super hard to accept the fact that I just could, I did everything I could, but it wasn't enough this year. What do you think is the legacy that you would leave in Philippine Volleyball? <laughs> You're making me cry again. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to leave a legacy of just excellence. You know, I want to be known as the import that can always get to the final. You know, she lifts up her team and helps them get to the final every time. She's dependable. She's a team player. She works super hard and just really has embraced um, everything about the Philippines. So um, the fans have been amazing to me. That's why I keep, a big reason why I keep coming back. Um, so yeah, I hope I leave. Uh, you know, a small, uh, bright spot in, in the fans' hearts and, and all the people that I've played with and played under.